morning. It's about 10, 15 in the morning. And we're going to do a beach walk. And looking that way is towards um, Sandy Lane. It's low tide right now. You can see there's a little beach there. And now we're gonna walk along the promenade to that peninsula in the distance, which is the Folkestone Marine Park. Here's a daytime view of the restaurant Paul Owens at the beach house. And if you can believe it, this used to be a, a, a previous Bajan house right on the ocean. Fantastic. And here's a view of the beach house area where I can hang out. As I mentioned, the uh, Sunset Crest area, owners pay a fee and their tenants can access this facility. All I need to do is open the electronic door with my pass. So next door to the um, Beach House restaurant is a more casual dining uh, restaurant with a lovely outdoor bar area called The Drift. And it's just such a wonderful way to come and watch the end of the day, sit here and watch the sunset. The pathway is pretty quiet right now. Most people are still lounging about on their patios or in the restaurants having a leisurely breakfast. Now here's the restaurant, high-end restaurant, The Tides. And last night it was packed because uh, a group of uh, guitarists containing one of the lead singers from Gypsy Kings was playing last night. And then this is St. James Villa, apartments for rent. Um, very pricey, but lovely if you have the budget. Some snorkelers, maybe walking to the same area as me. Okay, from here on in, it's walking in the sand. Such a tough life, huh? Because the paved path ends and now we're really hitting the beaches. And it's next door to Zacchio's, which is just further down the walk here. Looks like the tide is starting to come in. And a sea doer is sitting there looking for customers. Mm. Oh, look at him land. They drive right up onto the sand. Oh, yeah, you do. Well, this is a nice surprise. We've got. There'll be a bit of stamps on your foot. Yeah. <laughs> morning. Horse ride. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, celebrity. This is something new. Advertised, but I've never seen them on the beach actually. Yeah. Well, that was fun to see the horses right in front of Zacchio's here, and it's a famous, well known. Oh, sorry, this is Surfside Restaurant. It's a well known hangout all day in the evening. They have restaurant, they have a beach bar, they have a sports bar. People just love hanging out here, and it's budget food hamburgers, those kind of things. Here we are, Surfside. Sports bar and restaurant. Steel pant music every night at 7.30 on Sundays. And at lunch, this will be packed with people just chilling out, having a beer, having lunch. Morning. Local artist selling his homemade craft things. Those are lovely, look at those, huh? Cute paintings. And now we're gonna go to the launch, the beach chair rentals. How you doing? I say hi to this guy every day. And all the local guys hang out in the shade here. They are tour operators, they're to-do operators. They're beach chair rental guys. Anything you want, talk to them. Jewelry seller. No, thank you. And at this table here, they're not here right now, but I talk to a group of ladies every day who rent out the beach chairs. Now by the sailboat, 
is where I park my beach mat instead of renting a chair. Okay, so now some fisher boats are already coming in with their catch. I talked to one guy and he caught um, a big mahi-mahi. And they, they have a spot just over here under the tree where they fillet them, cut them up, and then sell them. All right, let's continue our walk. Oh, they're going to moor it, and um, that's why he's taking the kayak. They have to row back in on a kayak after they moor it out further out. The other day I made the mistake of snorkeling here. Uh, there's a lovely little reef behind the boats here, that dark patch. And what I didn't realize is that they put a canvas bag full of uh, fish guts in the shore, uh, along in the water. And I happened to bump into that area and landed in tons of fish guts when I came into the water, onto the shore. But the highlight was I saw a stingray feeding on the fish guts right near the shore. So that was a pretty big surprise. Okay, now I'm standing in front of Mango Hotel. They've got lovely umbrellas and chairs for rent. And you see the three-story structure behind me. And inside they've got a nice pool. I can't get in there because I'm not a guest. It's quite pricey, but a lot of Brits get package deals. A lot of people are playing right in front of the hotel, playing beach ball. And yesterday I was playing in the spot myself, big four foot swells. It was great just floating in them. Here's a little reef. I'll come back to this later, but it has a lot of wave action. So I'm gonna try and go to the Folkestone Marina and see how that is today. I think there's more wave action because the tide is coming in. Look at how high the water is now. So this is a nice view um, towards the artist, artist studios area. Very popular for people for two week to month stays. The tide is high. It's coming up to the stairs here. distance you can see the, uh, one of those guys on those motorized skis where that white trail of water is. I forget what that sport's called. And here's a sea doer looking for business. And now we're coming up upon a beach where some locals are playing volleyball. And I have to say that it's by law that all Bajans have access to the beach. The beaches are all public, they cannot be owned, and everybody has a legal right to access the beach. These guys are pretty good. So you can see how far we've come. That peninsula down there is where I've walked so far. And I still, I've discovered, have a bit more to go. Okay, behind me is a posh oceanfront villa that you can rent through Villa Rental Blue Sky. Right on the surf. surfers go out on them when they're bigger. They're perfect. They've got a perfect curl. Okay, fo folks, we have made it 
to the Folkestone Marine Park. And so the walk I've just done is probably only 30 minutes at the most. And people will do the walk every day as part of their exercise. It's a lovely thing to do in the morning while it's still cool. I've lugged all my snorkel gear, my lunch, my beach mat, everything. So here's the area for snorkeling. And it goes way out to the red buoys in the distance if you want. It's protected from boats, but I'm not going to go that far out. It's too wavy. So my game plan is to go to the right out here. I just talked to the lifeguard and the yellow flag means caution, risky, but I'll be fine. And he knows I'm gonna be snorkeling there and I'm gonna go where there's not so many waves. And they even have a sign about tsunamis. That blue house in the distance is where you have outdoor showers, washrooms. It's just a lovely facility. And it's for free. Past the parking lot about Half a block over is the main street again. But you never know you're close to the street. I feel totally removed from everything. And this is the lifeguard lookout. So I spoke to Dario, the lifeguard, telling him I'm gonna be out there. He's gonna be watching for me. And he let me park my stuff on the veranda.